okay, so what's stopping somebody from going to Fringe Sports or True Greater Rogue and creating their own in-place model? Nothing's technically stopping you from doing this whole thing. Anybody could steal Metabolic's five exercises per lane. That is one element of the recipe. It's everything from the lighting package in here, which is just absolutely incredible. Everything from, you know, the way you have stuff figured out, and also the brand, like the industrious brand. I wouldn't say the industrious brand is overly aggressive. It, it's also not very soft. Like I, I read, I was reading the copy on your website on the way over here, right? Like when you go, there's a page on, I think it's on the scheduling page and it's like no bullshit workouts or something like that. So yeah. you guys have like, there's a little edge, but it's not so over the top. Fuck it. Like metabolic might be, or a WTF gym talk. Like it's not super aggressive that I think could be problematic from a client acquisition standpoint, but it's also, you guys are very firm in your confidence in who you are as a brand here. Yeah. Like when people are like, Oh, well I could just do this. No, you fucking couldn't. <laughs> If that was the case, <laughs> then why didn't you just get treadmills and rowers and TRX bands and do what Orange Theory did? Or like, then why haven't you done it yet? Why, if you're like, oh, I could copy that and be successful. If you haven't been able to be successful on your own fucking thing yeah. now, currently, you think copying and watching from behind someone else's fucking thing is going to say like copying the test on somebody you might copy the answers but you walk out of that room and you don't know what the fuck to do yeah you have no fucking clue what to do with this <laughs> and the second because if you're on version 1.0 of the halos and this model what are you going to do when steven's you know already made his mind up on what 2.0 looks like and you're just gonna have to fucking wait for the fucking instagram photos to be like <laughs> oh i think he's doing something different what's he doing fuck like let me get my sister lives in seattle to take some classes so i can fucking get the secret sauce it blows me away when people think like your success here's like oh in place i could totally do that 169 square feet i can make that you don't fucking stand a chance and that gym that like tagged me in that it looked nice if you moved in next to them and you both have an in-place model, you'd shit in their mouth. Like, it's just like, that's how it would go. It, like, you drop the big dick on them because this is just, every angle is put together so well. That's what a brand is. Mm -hmm. It's every little, it's a hundred different components that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. So when someone walks in, it goes, oh. I mean, it's, it's the strategic sales opportunity. You have a Lululemon, like the yeah. phenomenal fucking retail that you have. The, I mean, the decor in the bathrooms and the fucking black tiles that just match and everything in here looks like a legit interior designer came in and said do it like this mm -hmm. and you know like you told me you're like i've probably spent four million dollars over a decade figuring shit out yeah and i just it just blows me away because sure someone could steal an in-place model from you but like fuck that's not the genius of this thing no. you doing it to the degree that you have no one has stood up this except for the guys that maybe have seen you now or post covid just kept it because members liked it better mm -hmm. but they didn't design it like this and they're again you're the math behind it and the unit economics of a halo taking the time to brand the halo taking the time to create the halo games that is yeah. this huge version of the crossfit open is a celebration of fitness so anyone listening who's as you're listening to this podcast you're googling and looking at images of this place like oh i could do that trust me the success with this is not just this this 169 square feet right. that's not it that number might change over time right it's it's all the other fucking variables of it but on the other side of this anyone who is considering retrofitting into that what would you say to someone who wanted to hit you up and explain kind of that scenario i've been wanting to i don't know what i've been wanting to do i don't like what we are now mm -hmm. i like what we do but i know we could do it better i think you do it better i'd rather pay and be a part of this brand and this movement 